Good evening everybody! For the most part, fans of Guitar Hero Buckethead are a respectful bunch who sometimes get rewarded with toys, handshakes, and even get invited on stage to perform. But every now and then, these fans have a little bit too much of Grandpa's hot sauce and get a little carried away. So today we're gonna take a look at these drunks facing off against a goat. So let's begin. Woo! For most Buckethead fans, receiving a handshake or hug from the master would be a priceless gift. And sometimes all you need to do is ask. All I want is a hug. <laughs> but other times when the whiskey is flowing through their veins, idiots think they can jump the barricade, run on stage, shock the goat and get a handshake. Although this schlub did get what he wanted, what happened to him afterwards was tragic, but deserved. Unfortunately, the not so tragic demise of the previous idiot didn't put people off as less than six months later another dum dum was at it. Jumping on stage to shake his hand, Buckethead refused this fairy's advances and instead gave him the death stare. Thankfully, security along with P-Sticks were quick enough to drag the hippie prick off stage and throw him right into oncoming traffic. <laughs> yup. Ah, you get what you deserve. And from a quadriplegic hippie to a hey everyone, look at me Rasta man. As Buckethead was laying into Welcome to Buckethead Land, this doughboy thought he'd jump the barricade and do a stage dive until P-Stick spoiled his fun and launched him right to the concrete floor. Oh God, right on the concrete! Oh no! Right on the back of his head oh on the concrete! No! Cactus Jack is dead! Nope, Cactus Jack isn't dead, but this moron is. In 2019, Buckethead kicked off his tour playing back-to-back -back shows in Arizona. And on the second night, the people in attendance were greeted with this drunken, cabbage patch bloated fool being rowdy in the venue's pool, throwing a beach ball on stage and just being an all-around cock. Thankfully, there was no lifeguard on hand, and this beach ball sank quicker than the Titanic. From 1997, Buckethead seemed to have gotten lost somewhere in New York City and ended up being cornered by the devil and Dorothy. Soon enough, the overzealous Sarah Silverman lookalike gets a little too frisky with our man Buckethead, eventually reaching for his, uh, Project Little Man. No doubt Big B was a little hot under the bucket, but judging by the fact he released the footage himself, it seems he didn't feel too violated by Dorothy and her wandering mitts. <coughs> Next, from 1998, Buckethead found himself at a bar in London, UK, doing robot dances and listening to a drunk guy babbling on about Elton John. There was a fish in the hall there was someone at John. Well, and whilst this guy was harmless enough, some other drunk comes around the corner and grabs old Buckethead by his plastic nose. Shitter. Someone there, mate. And I'm putting him here, man. And the wind blows away. Thankfully, as always, Big B was in a good mood and chose to give this guy a handshake rather than a roundhouse kick to his annoying little face. So, if you ever get the chance to go to a Buckethead show, be respectful and you might just end up getting a toy, a handshake, a hug, an autograph or a twice in a lifetime opportunity. And if you're not respectful, you might just end up in the back of someone's trunk, at the bottom of a lake or in a wheelchair. You've been warned.